We go Trinity 22, Friday, the confession that Jesus is Jehovah. Turn to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth, for I am God and there is no other. Isaiah 45, verse 22. Dearly beloved, here is another example of God's desire that all, both Jews and Gentiles, hear the word of salvation, trust in the Christ, be blessed with the remission of sins, be justified by grace through faith, and made an heir of heaven. Those who have been brought to a knowledge of their sin and to saving faith in their Jesus respond accordingly with humble rejoicing. This is what those who were following Jesus on that first Palm Sunday were doing. Listen to their confession of Christ and hear them saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees called to him from the crowd, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. Luke 19 verses 38 and 39. Having heard and believed the word, the church speaks the truth and confesses the doctrine of God. The congregation declares that this lowly man who is riding a donkey is the eternal king who comes in the name of the Lord. This Jesus of Bethlehem is the Christ of God. Jesus is Jehovah. Jesus is the Lord God. As it is true of the Father and of the Holy Spirit, so also may it be said of the Son, Turn to the Son and be saved, all you ends of the earth. For Jesus is God, and there is no other. The daughter of Zion, the Christian church, has, from the mouth of Eve and on down through time, believed, taught, and confessed the divinity of the Redeemer. That truth was part of the litany broadcast during the Palm Sunday processional. It was this truth that caused some of the Pharisees to call out to Jesus. They directed God to rebuke his disciples. They would not accept what they knew to be true, namely, that Jesus is Emmanuel, Jesus is God with us. They wanted no part of the gracious remission of their sins for the sake of the incarnate Christ, who will sacrifice himself on behalf of all Jews and Gentiles, these Pharisees included. Therefore, they called upon Jesus to chide the church. In reality, they were petitioning God to scold his children from speaking the truth. The faithless in general, but the enemies of the gospel in particular, are vehement in their rejection of Jesus as the eternal Son of God and in their denial of the gospel of grace. Prayer Dear Heavenly Father of my Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you for the truth. May I always believe, trust, and confess that Jesus is true man, born of Mary, for I have come to know that the Savior had to be under the law in order to suffer, die, and rise again. Indeed, I believe that without the shedding of blood there is no forgiveness of sins. May I always believe, trust, and confess that Jesus is true God, begotten of you from eternity, for I have come to know that the Savior had to be divine in order to provide a sufficient ransom for all. This is my only hope and salvation. Please continue to send your Holy Spirit through the means of grace that I may remain faithful in this confession throughout this life that you grant me and may abide in your presence forever in eternity. I ask this for the sake of Jesus the Christ, your Son and my Savior. Amen. Hymn number 98, stanzas 1 and 5. Of the Father's love begotten, ere the worlds began to be, he is Alpha and Omega, he the source, the ending he. Of the things that are, that have been, and that future years shall see, evermore and evermore. Christ to thee with God the Father, and O Holy Ghost to thee, him and chant and high thanksgiving, and unending praises be, honor, glory, and dominion, and eternal victory, evermore and evermore.